morning everyone so i'm running really late um so i've just jumped in the car it's quarter past nine um so i've got to run and i will explain later it has been a nightmare morning hi everyone so i didn't get a chance to check in earlier um like i said so i think you saw my manic uh, rush this morning um completely overslept um my alarm didn't go off because my battery died um no idea how it was plugged in um i think it's a dodgy battery um i've swapped the battery over actually because i had a new one because it wasn't lasting very long um but i had that realization um i don't know if any of you have experienced it that you wake up and straight away you know that something is like wrong but you don't know what it is um and i kind of woke up and um looked at my phone and saw battery empty sign um quickly asked Alexa what the time was and um was told it was 11 minutes past eight uh, my friend Katie um was car sharing with me I quickly looked out the window she was outside waiting so I ran down with the dressing gown on I ran outside and um yeah had to let her know that I was gonna have to follow on afterwards um so our car sharing was scuppered um uh, I made it in and kind of rushed around and um I think when you rush around even though you quickly like have a shower and everything you just feel like today I just don't feel quite myself I think um, it's where I've kind of not started the day how I imagined I planned to get up early um, do some tumble drying quickly um, have some nice breakfast um, just tick a few things off by getting up early um, so it didn't quite work out as planned but I'm at work now um, it's the afternoon now actually and I um, got a lot done this morning um, still got a lot to do before I head home um, didn't quite feel 100% yesterday so I didn't cook the chicken tikka masala so everything's going to push back a week from my plan um, in terms of what I'm eating um, so I probably like drop something like spaghetti bolognese something easy um, that I can just like throw the mints in the freezer so um, so yeah my mug if you can all see it how to make my tea I'm quite specific a very um, weak tea, um, I think you can see, yeah, it's quite a strong one for me this afternoon. I um, had another banana fail as well, um, my banana did not fit into the protector, so um, this might be one of those purchases that I don't get to use. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a bit more work before I head home, and um, if I finish early enough I need to pop by next because I ordered a few things and um, cook dinner so not exactly rock and roll i'm out of the office for the next couple of days um into london for a couple of days um but back and forth not um staying over um and then back into the office thursday and then off on friday for my knee injection um so i'm just putting that to the back of my mind for now um there's no point i wouldn't want to be, I'm try not to worry about it. there's no point worrying about it um and hopefully it'll just um be something that helps um, anyway, um, I'll sign off for now and um, catch up with you on a phone. Evening everyone, um, I think you can see just how knackered I look. Um, I look a complete mess. Uh, so I've got my pyjamas on, home, um, left work late. Obviously was in a bit late because I uh, had overslept. Um, so I'm just cooking dinner. Uh, so I'm attempting to make the chicken tikka masala. Um, and the skewers are just in the oven. Uh, keeps patiently awaiting his dinner. I say patiently. He's not. He's not really that patient. Um, so yeah, Jamie is running late again. Um, so I don't think he's even left work. Yet. It's ten past eight, um, so it's quite late to be eating anyway. Um, but I just by the time I got home and everything, I also need to pack up my stuff, ready to head into London tomorrow. Uh, so I've got quite a bit to take with me. Um, it's a really early start, um, so I'm already tired before I go um, to bed. Um, so I think I have to try and get an early night tonight. Um, wash and do my hair before I go to bed. Uh, so yeah, I'll see how dinner gets on. I'm absolutely starving. Evening everyone. So it's Tuesday evening. Uh, it's just um, after six. Just got home and been in London this morning. So had an early start at uh, six o'clock this morning. Um, I was due to be home earlier, uh, but plans changed, I had to go back to the office, so my lovely friend Katie gave me a lift home, um, and um, so I've just got home now, so Keith's running around, excitedly, there's my washing you can see as well, um, he's really excited, um, plus um, he's now got to have his food, um, because last night um, I hadn't managed to get away from the office until gone seven, um, what with kind of the oversleeping, getting in late. Um, so because I'd run out of food, I had to cook his dinner. Um, so he was loving it. So I cooked him some chicken and rice. Uh, so when I dished up the food, I was dishing his up. Um, he couldn't believe his luck. I will insert a quick video here that I took of him last night eating it. Keith, is that good? Yeah, it's good. 
So my worry today is that he won't want to eat his dry food that I've got for him. So, um, yeah, I'm going to give him his dinner in a minute. He'll probably be a bit disappointed. Uh, so tonight for dinner, we've got um, chicken nuggets with spicy wedges. Just checking what it was. Um, so that's from a um, Slimming World Fakeaways book. Um, so see how I go with that. Um, Jamie, not sure where he is. Um, he's not answered the phone, so I'm assuming he's going to be late. Um, he's got a busy time at work at the moment as well. Um, so right, I'm going to get on, attempt to cook this dinner. Might go put my pyjamas on first. Um, so, um, and then tomorrow I'm into just the outskirts of London tomorrow um, and then in the office. Right, so I'm going to cook dinner as normal. I will show you how it goes. Um, so yeah, thanks. Morning everyone. Um, so I've been on the road since just after half six this morning. I've just arrived at um, one of our hospitals near Twickenham. Uh, so traffic was pretty heavy and um, I needed to leave early just to make sure that I got here plenty of time. So I'm actually just under an hour early for uh, meeting um, but actually I wanted to meet up with my colleague first anyway so um, I'm gonna go and catch up get a coffee um, wake up a bit and prepare for our meeting um, so absolutely knackered last night um, Keith was really disturbed we're actually a bit worried um, about him he's not quite himself and he um, got up twice in the night um, to go to the toilet which you know is fine um, but he was really disturbed so from around half one till 20 to 4 ish um, this morning I've been up with him um, so I've only had like three or four hours sleep so I'm really tired I've got a bit of a headache as well so um yeah I'm gonna go liven myself up ready for this meeting um, into the office this afternoon and um, then try and finish early got some errands to run you know standard next returns uh, pick up next clothes uh, those, that sort of thing um, so yes um, I've got actually got a really nice Bowden dress um, to collect. So just before Christmas, um, when I knew I'd be starting my new job, I ordered lots of clothes and you know bits and bobs that I could um, kind of slot into my wardrobe. Um, and one of the things I ordered was this. Um, it was a beautiful like wrap type dress, and um, but it was quite expensive. I think it was like ninety pound, um, which I don't necessarily spend on like one work dress uh, but I ordered it anyway thought I'll try it didn't come and then got an email over Christmas from Next to say that it was covered by some kind of Christmas guarantee um, so in January it would either arrive and I could have it for free of charge or if it was not available they would give me a gift voucher with that amount um, and it's arrived so I'm going to go and collect that and um, hopefully then I'll show you later um, if it looks nice and um, who knows I could have a really nice dress uh, for work and uh, for free anyway um, I'll speak to you later got to run bye Good evening everyone uh, so home now it's 10 past 7 so I'm just going to cook dinner story of my life um, Jamie's going to be late uh, so I got the dress that I spoke about earlier after going back into the office and everything and I didn't show you because it looks awful it didn't make me feel very good um it's my normal size um and it just made me look like, like a, a pig wrapped in cling film um yeah it wasn't a good look um and I've got a load of other stuff just here um that I need to send back um ordered a load of stuff in the sale back at the end of December and some of it's arrived um, and just one of those days when everything I tried on just made me feel awful. Uh, I don't know if anyone else gets that. I'm sure they do, like what am I talking about? Um, but yeah, so feeling a bit rubbish about it to be honest. A bit rubbish about myself even though obviously I've been really good. I'd lost weight last week. Um, but yeah, I'm quite self-critical. So anyway, I've had a really busy day. I'm absolutely knackered so I'm just going to cook some dinner. Um, I'm just watching telly and feel sorry for myself really. Um, so not a very cheery vlog I'm afraid, so probably best that I don't vlog for too long. Um, haven't really done much today anyway except for go to meet our customer and that was actually really good and really enjoyed it. Um, I think I'm just a bit tired um, what with Keith um, being awake in the night and everything. So I'm going to sign off for now and um, might pop on later um, see how I feel. Good evening everyone. Oh, look who's home. Hello. Look who's home. Hello. That's timing. So as you just saw, 
Jane is home early. Um, it is 6.55 p.m. So this makes me very happy that we've actually got an evening together. Uh, so I'm just cooking peri, peri chicken and chips. It's almost like a, a Nando's, but let's be honest, it's a slimmer world lot, so it's probably not gonna be nice as an actual Nando's and there'll be no halloumi or, or anything like that. So I'm gonna cook that, um, get the jammers on, um, have a bath. Um, feeling a little bit apprehensive about tomorrow. I'll take you along with me where I can. Excuse Jamie. And um, yeah, I'll let you know how dinner turns out. I've also made some homemade coleslaw as well. Just here. Huh? Jamie appears to want to get in on my vlog. Jamie? Hello. Anything to say? No. Not really. So I shall show you dinner Hello. when it's done. It's Keith. Hey Keith. You got anything to say this evening? <laughs> he just wants to get involved. Good morning everyone. Nothing changes. Tim Smith on nine o'clock. On the way to the hospital. But first we need to stop just here. Cost the run complete. Now on the way to the hospital. Um, a little bit nervous. Uh, Jamie's his usual sympathetic self, as you can see. Uh, but he is driving me today, so I'm there's at least that. Sorry? So I am sympathetic. Anyway, I'll take you in for as much as I can. Don't think I'll be able to take you in when I actually have it done, though. You should video all of it. <laughs> no. See how many people puke up. <laughs> Don't want to freak anyone out. Around the Walford. Is that the mental place? That is the hospital for people with challenges and circumstances. That is me. I have to live with you. So I'm done, we're out on the way home. Jamie? Yep. I think Jamie's bored. Um, so it's a little bit painful, um, not too bad. Um, probably the worst bit was the local anaesthetic, um, which initially wasn't too bad with it going in, um, but the most painful bit was probably when um, he got to the bone and was putting the anaesthetic in, and that was really sore. So it's very sunny, as you can see. Uh, knee's a bit painful, so heading home and um, we'll put my rest and hopefully Jamie will bring me lots of tea and sympathy. What do we think? Likely to happen? No, I don't think so. <laughs> we shall see. I'm going to go and get a burger. Me not. Oh, no, we're not. No, we're not getting a burger. I'm going to get a breakfast burger. No. We're being good. I think there's rounds for the tea. Taking refuge in Costa because the cleaners at home. So we're resting up in here. Jamie has a muffin. Yeah. I have a tea and Slimming World bar. Evening everyone. So my friend Katie's here because um, we're going to do some Florida planning tonight. I want to deliver her, her wine. Oh, but then, yeah, you can pick either the planet Earth version or Here the Mars version. Here she is. my friend Katie, <laughs> who I've mentioned this week. Cheers. Oh, you. Cheers. Yes. Bye. Katie, what book have you got? I have got... Da, 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 lucky Orlando. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Tonight, I'm a little bit nervous about Halloween Horror Nights. I'm not sure if I'm going to like it, so Jamie and Lisa are going to show me some videos so I can see whether I'll be too much of a scaredy cat to go or not. <laughs> okay, so we're going to watch some Tim and Jen 
and their first look, Halloween Horror Nights. Thanks. Okay. National Drive runs north and south. It's a straight line, pretty much between Universal and Disney. It's like right. the main resort. Is it like a road? So is it? Right, okay, so it's like shops and restaurants and stuff. Yeah, restaurants, stops, shops and hotels. <laughs> so if you went down in Hassel Drive, you might go to, like Hassel House of Go Go is only Drive. Right, okay. Katie, Hi, are everybody. you excited about the holiday? Really excited, more reading to do. What are you most excited about? Um, probably seeing characters and getting autographs still, and the roller coasters. And the water parks. And the water parks. And basically everything. everything. <laughs> okay. Have you had a nice evening? Oh, I've had a lovely evening. Yummy curry. Time with the boy. Steve, hello. Uh, oh. Oh, oh. Kissing it. Close up from me. Katie. Are you going to go for a wee? <laughs> Keith. You've got to have a snow hairdo. Keith, we're going to Granny's. We're going to Granny's. He was like, I can see outside. It's so foggy. <laughs> oh, Keith. <laughs> we were not expecting the snow this morning, are we? No. Very exciting. Only very light and very fluffy and wet. Is it a bit chilly? Yeah. Oh. Afternoon everyone, so it's Sunday, I'm just getting ready to sign off the vlog. Um, here's Keith. Uh, so we're just getting ready to go out for a walk, hence the hat. Um, so it's finished snowing um, now, um, it's mainly just raining and turning to slush. Um, so we went to my mum's for some brunch, I'm just getting ready for New York and just catching up on kind of final logistics. We're both getting really excited. Uh, so yeah, looking forward to that. Um, in terms of weight loss this week, because I had two pound loss this week, so that's really good. I was hoping for a little bit more, but actually, you know, that's seven and a half pound in two weeks. So it's just over half a stone, which I'm really pleased about. Um, so as long as I'm losing, I'm gonna be happy. Um, so this week ahead, uh, it's going to be a really busy week, um, I'll take you with me where I can and um, yeah so overall mixed week I think you saw had kind of some ups and downs um, but yeah overall a good week and so I haven't put in my menu for the week, um, I'll put it in in just a minute um, so you can see what we're having. I've just had the Tesco shop, oh, so annoying, had like so many substitutions. Um, but I have got some of this new ice cream, I'll show you now quickly. Yeah, so here it is, it's um, Halo Top, so I've gone for the chocolate flavour. Um, so I'm going to give that a go. So for my old job I've got some appraisals coming up this week that I need to deliver. So I'm just going to go back over those to re-familiarise myself. Uh, so once I've done that I'm going to treat myself um, to carry on watching The Crown which I started on Friday after my hospital appointment. Really into it, loving it. Um, a lot of people recommended it. Um, so yeah, really good. And um, so I'm going to sign off for now. Again, thank you to anyone who's made it this far in the vlog. And um, please continue to watch. Um, comment below with any suggestions or any comments or feedback. Um, so I'm still learning. So um, please stick with me. And um, hopefully I'll have some New York ones to show you soon. Bye, everyone. Hello. I touch screen. Touch screen. You're right, boy. So you're going to be in there? Yeah, I'll get a chance.